Hey, it's Doug from the Rise Above Gym channel, and today I'm going to go over why everyone should include paralee training into your programs. Let's check it out. Paraleets are just these bars in this half kind of D or U shape that you see a lot of gymnasts use, and you can construct your own or purchase them like I have, and they offer several advantages to upper body training especially. What I really like about them is they're very versatile in a sense where you can do exercises to a high level or even an intermediate or lower level just by changing different positions. You can also gain great strength benefits from changing those positions but also adding isometric kind of tension. So you're holding positions, you're going into more ranges of motion safely and that allows you to get stronger. Also, it's very self-regulating. Most of the time, you're going to be using only your own body weight, so you don't have to worry about external weight messing you up like a squat. If you go too heavy, you can you know, mess up your form and hurt yourself. Here, if you, you know, run out of uh, steam or if you're in the wrong position or you just kind of get out of the reps and you can't do anymore, you can just simply stop or change the variable slightly like moving back and forth, and then you'll be successful with them. So I like these a lot in upper body training especially. There's not many lower body things that you can do, but this will definitely build up your strength in your upper body and your core. And I'll go over some of my favorite exercises right now. There are several advantages to doing push-ups on the bar. Now, the first one, some people have a tough time putting their wrists on the ground to do conventional push-ups. That is because a lot of times our daily lives are in flexion, computer, driving, video games, everything is putting the wrist forward. So when we go back into extension on the floor like this, it may not feel good on the wrist and cause pain and then you just can't do push-ups in general. So the paralytes allow you to grip in a neutral position and have your wrist more neutral, much like a barbell bench press or a dumbbell chest press. So by setting your hands here, you're stacking them without extending them and you're able to do the exercises. Now, if I can't do push-ups very well, I can use these bars on my knees and perform push-ups. So that is a very beginner way to do them and I'm not hurting my wrists either. Now, the other thing I like about doing push-ups on these paralytes is I actually get a pull. Unlike the floor where I can control myself down, but I'm not actually pulling using my back, these I can actually set up my body, use my back to pull, and then come out. Also, I can gain more range of motion than a normal push-up. Now, sometimes that's an advantage, sometimes it isn't. Now, we don't need to go for extreme ranges of motion, but when we're doing bodyweight exercises, it's pretty good to challenge your range of motion a little bit to strengthen in those kind of further ends of your range of motion, your ability level. That way you have it on both ends. So if you go to play a sport and let's say your arm extends too much or you know flexes too much, you're, you have that strength there. So you probably won't have um, you know pain or hurt yourself if you do it. So for example, if I'm doing a floor push-up, I can only get so low where my chest touches the ground. If I'm able to do it on the paralytes, I can go a little bit lower get a little more stretch in that chest and strengthen that way. And then obviously I can do it from this position, normal push-up position. So that, those are the advantages I see with the push-up. Also, we can add you know, variations of the push-up. I can do push-ups more back, so that way it's a little bit easier. I can go forward, which is a little bit harder and having my hands a little bit more towards my hips. I can change the angle a little bit. So I can go up on my toes and then pull down and up, kind of like you know pseudo handstand practice. And I also like these a lot where I'm pushing up, I'm posting on my shoulder and doing rotation. So I'm able to stabilize my shoulder, open up that shoulder and strengthen it in different areas and also work my core in rotation. Lastly, you can do one bar here and do very narrow push-ups, getting that tricep going a little bit more. That's kind of a fun one if you want to challenge the arms a little bit, challenge the elbows and the bicep strength, 
and then get your push-ups in as well. You won't get as much range of motion, but it is a little bit better than doing it on the floor because I get that pull and I just get just a little bit more range of motion because I get jammed up when I'm doing it on the floor. So the bar makes a good kind of um, alternative to that type of push-up. Next, we'll do some core work. Again, planks. Planks are great to do on your forearms, but what we miss a little bit with the forearms sometimes is getting that shoulder strength. You can do it on your hands in a top push-up position, but like we talked about earlier, the wrist can be an issue, and most of you are gonna fail there before anything else. So the paralytes offer a pretty good solution. So I can be in this position and just hold. The nice thing about it too is I can back up a little bit, make it easier, and I can go forward and make it harder. So I'm kind of really holding here and forward where my hands are about right on my rib cage and that makes the core work a little bit you know, more challenging. You can also you know, raise a leg and hold, alternate. You can go down, advantage, hold in a low push-up and hold as well and you're building up that shoulder strength. So those are good kind of alternatives to planks. You can also do some knee tucks. So again, I'm in this good position here where I'm rolling my elbows in, I'm tucked, and I'm pulling up in the knee, and down, pulling up, pulling up. So those are kind of fun too. Also, we can go the other direction where we're doing more holds. If you've seen some L sits, those are tough to do on the ground. I cannot do them on the ground very well. I've been practicing them, trying to just push myself up off the ground. But these offer a little bit more extension because I'm able to grip, like we talked about earlier, and rolling up. So I can set these up here. I can roll my elbows forward, pull my shoulder blades down, and I can hold, keep them everything tight. So like I said, I can't do these on the ground yet, but doing these with the bar is gonna help me do this on the ground. I'm building up good shoulder strength, and I'm building up my core. The other way I can do it is now I can start extending my legs a little bit. So I'm gonna again, roll back, chest up, hold, hold. And I can come back, set it down, do it again, hold, hold, and then down. So I'm building up my core strength that way as well. So I really like it for that. And I'm also really getting my arms stable, my shoulders stable, and everything feels pretty good. And because it's body weight and because it's isometric, I'm getting that time under tension and increasing the strength a lot. Next, we're gonna go over dips. Dips are a tricky one, so if you've ever done barbell dips, get up high, you have to rotate your shoulders back and then do a position straight up and down. Now, a lot of times people don't have the prerequisites to do it because it puts the arm in a pretty vulnerable position and your leverage is just a little bit off. They're doable and they're a great exercise, but for many trainees, especially people that are very forward, it's hard to do that and can injure the shoulder. So this offers a little bit of advantage. Now what you can do with this one is I can set up the same way, but I can use my legs. So the more I bend my legs, I'm gonna roll back and I'm just gonna squat down and push up. So I'm using my arms and my legs about 50-50. I get that pull and push. As I get better, pull, shoulders down, push. And I can go out even more where I'm barely using my legs and use them more as a fulcrum or a pivot point than I am using my legs. You can also use one, come up. So you're getting a little leg strength here, but also I'm only using one leg. Or you can make it really hard and only use one leg at the very end. So this is a safer way to train dips, build up your shoulder strength, Build up your pec endurance because the pecs are stabilizing along with the shoulders. So those are good ones to do there. Lastly, we're gonna go over a little bit more of an advanced one that I've been playing around with. And it's basically just like a tuck hold. Now, the reason why I like these is just one, it's hard to do on the floor, uh, but it's a little bit easier on here because I get to grip and use that grip and kind of pull around my arms a little bit. We're on the floor, I'm a little bit limited on my movement. So any kind of slight movement, I'm kind of falling off to the side, but here what I can do is I can just practice in getting my coordination down. So I'm just gonna kinda get over the bar a little bit and go down, and then all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lift, I can lift a foot, 
set it down, lift the foot, set it down. Then I can add the hop like I did there. Hold, hold. Now, to do the full one, I'm gonna drop in here, tighten up, and hold, and I can rock back, and then I can see if I can go right into it, and down. So as you can see, I was pulling back and forth to stabilize. When I try to do it on the floor sometimes, it's a lot harder and I probably go over. So these are fun to do. I like incorporating them a couple times a week. Um, so let's say I'm doing squats. I would just put these out, knock out a few push-ups, knock out a few push-ups of rotation, knock out a push-up and a couple knee tucks, just to get that endurance, kind of get that lower level of intensity in a sense where I'm not you know, using a lot of weight to, to fatigue myself. So when I do these, yeah, they're fatiguing during the exercise, but the lasting effects are not there because you're only using your body rate and you're self-regulating. So you're not tearing up your muscles as much as you would be with external weight like dumbbells or kettlebells. So it's a good way to sprinkle it in with other exercises and you get great coordination. So even in that exercise alone, I have to coordinate my shoulders, my chest, my arms, my core, everything all together, which can make you more athletic. So thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, please like it down below. Also consider subscribing. I try to put a new video out every week. If you have any questions, put them down in the comments or any suggestions for future videos, same thing. Thanks for watching. Get yourself some paralytes and have some fun.